Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. What are the side effects of titanium dioxide? Exposure can irritate the eyes, nose, and throat, since it has been shown to cause lung cancer in animals. A carcinogen. Such substances may also have the potential for causing reproductive damage in humans. Is titanium dioxide a carcinogenic? The World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC, has determined that titanium dioxide is a possible carcinogen for humans. In 2017 the French government's scientific assessment found that titanium dioxide is a carcinogen when it is inhaled. Is titanium dioxide safe for the skin? Titanium dioxide is considered safe once it's on our skin. Even titanium dioxide nanoparticles aren't able to penetrate deep into the skin, when they're coated with materials like silica, alumina, and dimethicone cubed. Is titanium dioxide a natural ingredient? Titanium dioxide is a natural metal element that's also used as a white pigment in a variety of other products such as sunscreens, cosmetics, paints, and plastics. Titanium dioxide can boost and brighten white opacity because of how well it scatters light. Is titanium dioxide in toothpaste safe? Is titanium dioxide safe in toothpaste? The mineral-based ingredient has been used in a number of products, specifically in the cosmetic and drugs industry and is recognized as safe by the FDA. When formulated into a toothpaste, titanium dioxide is safe to use and does not create any additional risks to human health. Is titanium toxic to humans? Safe in the body titanium is considered the most biocompatible metal, not harmful or toxic to living tissue, due to its resistance to corrosion from bodily fluids. This ability to withstand the harsh bodily environment is a result of the protective oxide film that forms naturally in the presence of oxygen. Is titanium-4 oxide harmful to humans? Based on the experimental evidence from animal inhalation studies titanium-4 oxide nanoparticles are classified as possible carcinogenic to humans by the International Agency for Research on Cancer and as occupational carcinogen by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.